Hello and welcome to another Raggy's beer review over in the kitchen, the Raggy kitchen. So, again, massive thanks to Big Beery, Big Beery Beast in the East. I did the big one for, uh, for actually sending these up, you know, uh, from Norwich. So for, thank you massive, massively for that. And this is a brand new beer for me that I've never seen before. Um, Neon Raptor, um, Bigfoot Expert. It's a triple chocolate imperial stout at 10%. Um, and it says on the back, if I can read it, decadent, appetizing, thick. Uh, Bigfoot Expert is a fully vegan, I think that's what it says, triple chocolate imperial stout. We combine cocoa shells, liquid chocolate and chocolate essence with a rich something, a rich and um, varied malt bill. The cocoa shells were saw, uh, sourced uh, from our neighbour Louise's Vegan Chocolates. This beer is perfect for wilderness roaming. God, the light in here is crap for what you're trying to read. Um, my eyes might not be open either. So, 10% with an EU address in France. Always good to have an EU address in France. So, obviously that's how companies get around some of the... Uh, um, Strangeness in the world, I suppose you can call it. So here we go. Um, ne never seen this beer before. Not one I've heard of. Um, obviously, it slipped by the old raggy net. There was a time where I really, I didn't take a lot of notice of what was coming out of um, uh, Neon Raptor. Uh, I take a hell of a lot more notice now. Uh, I have been for the good, a good over a good year now, taking a lot of notice. If this has slipped by me, then it is what it is. So dark paw, black paw, dark tan head, as you, you know. Um, oh, and uh, it's at room temperature as well, which is critical. Hence why I'm doing it in the beer, in the house and not the shed. The shed's absolutely freezing at the moment, no heating, it's like literally nil degrees. Um, yeah, it is what it is, you know. Um, can't win them all. So, massive chocolate on the nose, obviously. <sighs> chocolate and cocoa, but yeah, you're gonna get that anyway, that's what it says in the taste. So let's see how it plays. Oh, lovely thick um, imperial stout. I do wonder if I'm going to brew an imperial stout to thicken it up, whether putting liquid chocolate into into it and that uh, to to thicken it. I've got plans. Um, obviously, I can't go down the silly route with uh, the malt because I've only got a. You know, a, 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 such a capability. I could go down the the. Um, I could actually just go down the the kit route, the imperial kit, and um, try and thicken it up from the kit that I get. Ooh, now that's tasting. Very nice, um, thick, decadent, Moorish, definitely Moorish. Yeah, um, I can't read what date's on the bottom, just out of curiosity. No, I can't even read it anyway. Um, and just to give me a hint to when it was manufactured. Um, no, no, there's no hints. Yeah. Mm. 
tasting absolutely spot on. Let's be fair. Imperial stouts last for donkey years. You know, um, I know a certain brewer um, who's got a basement full of Imperial stout that's been aging a while, a good while. And, uh, you know, none of them are going out of date anytime soon. Uh, I guess above a certain... Um, I, do, I do want to do... I, I do like doing brewing Imperial stouts and barley wines. And more so than doing like IPAs and stuff. Um, I, you know, it must be a dark beer thing. I prefer dark beers over the lighter ones. Um, I feel lighter ones. Half the time they don't look much like what they're supposed to. Um, although, the, to be fair, the Citra Pale Ale that I brewed. It's funny because I took a picture in the shed and it looked it looked oxidised. Took a picture in the garden because um, the, the people I brewed a who I got it off they says oh they're not very good. Uh, took a picture in the garden in the proper daylight and it looked vibrant orange. It looked like it was supposed to. It tasted amazing as well. It really did. It uh, didn't last long that one didn't. What a delectable beer that is. Um, you've got, I, I, I find with Neon, for me, at their best is when they're doing sours. Certainly Imperial Sours and uh, Imperial Stouts are where I think they are truly, um, you know, at their very best. Although the whole range of beers is interesting. They've only just bought out a 2.5% um, orange looking um, IPA, I presume it is. Uh, I did see the video on um, their social feed today as I'm posting my stuff. Um, a video of Dave, Mr. Craft Beer Basic, doing his, doing his thing. And talking about YouTubers. I literally never see anybody's beer reviews coming up on my channel anymore. In, you know when you're scrolling YouTube, you used to get it all the time, like, oh, Dean's doing one, Craig's doing one, Scott, and uh, Andy, and other people. No, no one. Literally, all I've seen in a few weeks is uh, Hop Zine did a live the other night, and I think Hey, Craig did a live today, and that's it. So whether the old lives have been knocked back by everyone, um, which is a thing I suppose, isn't it? You know, life can be, uh, take its toll on, you know, your free time. Um, I'm in that season at the moment where it's too cold to do anything in the shed, and the, the, the house is not the place for it. People coming in the kitchen all the time. So, um, yeah, it's not the place for it, to be fair. Whoa. This is a thick chocolate lover's dream of an impy stout. Look at that, eh? Yeah, like I say, it's a thick, um, super thick. Drink it at room temperature and save you. You know, liquid chocolate, liquid chocolate imperial stout. Ooh. Um, it's divine. Um, obviously, it's not straight up impy because, uh, obviously, because of the chocolate elements. But uh, wow, one of my favourite supermarket beers was a triple chocolate um, salt air. Bought out a triple chocolate stout and that was immense. It just tasted so amazing. And this is just like a craft beer version of that. You know, you can still see the carbonation on the inside. Yeah, the nose is still there, it's still good on the nose.
Wow. And obviously, um, the work week is, is uh, coming at a rate of knots. Uh, I'm recording this on Sunday night, so you're likely to see it Monday and, and so on after Monday. Um, and still the cold weather's there, and uh, yeah, it's not great. It's not, there's work I need to do, but I need the ground to be soft, and uh, there's, the, there's the big thing at the moment. The, the ground is not soft, and it's not um, uh, nice to work on at the moment. So, is what it is in that respect. In that respect, um, looking forward to seeing what Neon Wrap to do this year. Are we going to have another Neon Wrap tour? I hope so. Um, they did well last year with those five beers. Uh, drank and reviewed all of them. Uh, all down at the actual tap room as well. Um, whether I'll get to this year with the with just the uh, you know the sheer amount of cost we've got to pay out this year, probably not so much, not so easy. But uh, I dare say, if they're out and about, um, I, I, I'm looking at the craft beer and the beer wheel this year, and. Uh, I was hoping to do both days of the craft beer, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. And the sad fact is that, you know, I've got to be sensible. It looks like I, I may be one or the other, either Friday night or Saturday all day. Um, and again, it's a week before my birthday, three weeks before I go away, um, three weeks before my wedding vows. So, um, you know, it. Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting on that side of things. Hmm. In any case, in any case, um, tasting great. Beautiful chocolate. I do like quality. I love Imperial Stouts. I do like great. I do like, um, I'll have to do a video one day saying about styles of beer I like and then the odd one I don't like, but hey -ho. Hopefully their lives will come back sometime in March probably. And um, I'm already thinking of trying to maybe uh, Get my radiator back from work that I borrowed let work have and uh, they're not using it anyway so it may be that I get it back and get cracking but in any case um, for me uh, full on chocolate all day long big thick uh, beer drank at room temperature absolutely spot on nothing else in it really all about the chocolate I uh, love the fact that Neon are supporting uh, one of their neighbours by using her coffee or what is it? Vegan chocolates, yeah. By using her chocolates in their beer. You know, that to me resonates for me. You know, we all need to support each other in these tough times. Certainly this year, more than any other year. And probably next year as well. Unless the world gets a better place and returns to some sort of bloody normality. Um... The amount of breweries going bust at the moment, it's scary, isn't it? And, uh, and on art, I don't want to see any locals going bust. Um, but obviously, you know, uh, there's only so much you can do. You know, if it gets to the stage where you're paying more out than you're getting in, then no company can afford to carry on doing that. So, um, yeah, out of five for me, a good 4.4. .4. Cheers, all.